ಗುರವೆ ಗೌರ ಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಧಿಕೆಯ ಇತದಾಲಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಾಯ ತದ್ ಭಕ್ತಾಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಲವ್ ಗುರುಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ದ ಗೋಲ್ಡನ್ ಮೂನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಲವ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಗಾಡಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಲವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹರ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಆಲ್ ಅಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ all glories to all servants of pure divine love pure divine love is the highest form of feeling when we are identified with something else but our pure divine love identity that is our true self or soul identity then we are in disalignment disharmony and therefore following this ease so when we perceive anything in a disharmonic way in our subtle or gross covering systems or in the worlds that we travel it is due to identification with something we are not that is a temporary identification a provisionary identification which is yearning to expand to the true love identification which is in perfect alignment with the complete reality of divine love we have adopted temporary provisionary identifications due to our forgetfulness of source the supreme divine source is the supreme personality of godhead the most beautiful most attractive most loving one the only way to reawaken our true identity in relation to the supreme divine beautiful person is by remembering and reciting his beautiful divine names which are non different from him still when we do this in the beginning we will do so from our temporary provisionary identifications and therefore we will not experience the supreme divine loving beauty of the holy names as non different from the supreme divine loving beautiful person so when we have perceptions which are not in alignment with our true supreme divine love nature even though we are chanting and remembering the most sweet divine holy names it may be helpful to remind ourselves by the use of a sublimely divine switch word affirmation that reminds and realigns us with our true loving soul identity that supreme divine switch word affirmation is we morph soul loves the explanation is as follows the first part is we morph it means if i perceive anything in my system or in the world which is not in pure love alignment and i perceive it in such a way that i feel disharmony it means that i am perceiving from not self identification or a temporary provisionary identification which is yearning for expansion towards true divine love which is my true identity or soul nature so this provisionary identification is the first part of we and the other part of the we is that part which i perceive to not be in alignment with pure divine love be it a part of my mental system my bodily system or another person or anything else in the world all these things we perceive or we perceive from that are not true self we can categorize in this affirmation as we and because these identifications or parts are not ultimately real they are actually always morphing everything in this world the gross or the subtle worlds is always undergoing a process of transformation or morphing 
Thus, the first part of the affirmation is we morph. The second part of the affirmation is soul loves. Soul here refers to two categories, both of which are pure divine love. The first category are all the unlimited individual souls, which are part and parcels of the Supreme Soul, the true self of the true soul, and the Supreme Self of the Supreme Soul or God are always pure love. They are never disturbed and always wish for the highest bliss of all. So by remembering this second part of the affirmation, soul loves, we can re-identify as souls being subordinate loving parts of the Supreme Soul and thus wish for supreme divine love blessings of all. So, the process is by chanting of the Maha Mantra, the great mantra which includes all divine energies, the mantra of supreme divine sweetness. We take a deep inhale and then chant the mantra audibly two times. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Then we exhale the remaining air by remembering the first half of the mantra. Then we inhale deeply by remembering the second part of the mantra. And after inhalation, we hold the breath by remembering the supreme affirmation, we morph soul loves. Thanks for your kind attention. Please try this practice, the Supreme Divine Practice for yourself. Let me know in the comment section of your experiences or questions. Also, for the benefit of all, you are heartily invited to like and share this Divine Transmission for the benefit of all. Please also subscribe and check out the links in the video description. This is Progendra ND from 108lsa.com. May the Om Love be with you always. Jai Shri Radhe Shyam.